Oh, hey, kitty. Who are you? Who are you, huh? What are you doing? That's a good kitty. Let's see this collar. I play outside. Please don't pick me up. <laughs> All right. how dirty you are. It's ridiculous. You are filthy, filthy dirty. Good kitty. Hello, and welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff, and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and it is a wet, hot, sweaty Sunday smoke right now. It is still freaking hot in the Pacific Northwest. In the 90s today, it's about a 75% humidity factor going on right now. For the last couple weeks now, I've been just perpetually covered in a disgusting, greasy film of sweat. I'm showering two to three times a day. I'm trying to record this Sunday smoke right now. I'm doing it indoors in the Stuff and Things studios, but I have to have all the windows closed because Stuff and Things studios is located near a very busy street. There's a lot of street noise. It would be impossible to actually hear me speaking, but there is no air conditioning in the Stuff and Things studio. There's no air conditioning in my home. So indoors with the windows shut when it's over 90 degrees and 75% humidity, humidity is not the most enjoyable environment to be in. But I'm gonna try to, to power through this Sunday smoke. Probably not gonna spend a huge amount of time on it. Again, because it was also, oh, Hope everyone had a happy 4th of July, every, every American viewer anyway. Because it was 4th of July weekend, um, I would, again was very busy and also because it was so hot, I didn't want to be indoors a lot of the time, just sweltering in a, an oven basically. So I haven't done a ton of videos, but I did get my review of Dunhill Three Year Matured Virginia finished. So that will be posting this week at some point. You can look forward to that. A few other reviews that I have in the works. Um, I know that, I know that a lot of people have asked me on my Midori Traveler's notebook review, a lot of people have mentioned my handwriting in a complimentary way, um, which I find kind of odd because I, I'm used, I spent so, many, so much of my life having really bad handwriting. And then I guess from the samples people saw in that review, they think I have really good handwriting. And granted, I have been working on it lately since I've been kind of getting into fountain pens and things like that. I was trying to improve my handwriting. I still feel like I have a long way to go, but enough people have asked me to post a video on how I learned to write the way I do, and I'm still learning how to write the way I do or the way I will eventually, but I guess maybe I'll try to do a video fairly soon just showing some of the resources I've used and some of the things that I've done to try to improve my handwriting. So that might be interesting. Maybe it won't, I don't know. And then also my old trusty Lamy Studio fountain pen. This was the first fountain pen I ever got that was decent, I guess, that, was, that cost more than like 12 bucks. Um, so I'll try to do a review on this guy eventually too. So you can look forward to that. So as I mentioned, this is 4th of July weekend. Yesterday was the 4th of July, the day when Americans celebrate our independence from the evil tyranny of the British Empire, which we reinforced during the War of 1812 when once again we kicked British ass. Now granted, the British probably had a little bit more on their mind, what with, you know, that little Napoleon guy running around everywhere. I think they kind of considered that war not, not quite as important as defeating Napoleon. So we'll, we'll give them that. And also granted, by the end of the War of 1812, pretty much any gains or losses that had happened on either side were completely wiped out and we went back to basically where we were from that point or before the war started. And since then, we've been very good friends. So I think we can all get along now, can't we? I think the American separation from the British Empire is sort of like a rebellious teenager wanting to move out of the house. Like, come on, Dad. Leave me alone, man. Why do you always have to come down so hard on me? And I think England has sort of viewed America in sort of a bemused, fatherly way ever since then. There's been fights, there have been disagreements, but you know, 
we're your little boy all growed up. I think we've done all right for ourselves. But usually on the 4th, traditionally, Americans barbecue a lot. Um, probably eat a lot of hamburgers, drink a lot of beer, watch fireworks. No fireworks really in my neck of the woods. It's been so hot and dry that actually I think they banned all fireworks anyway, which is kind of annoying. But this year they would have banned them regardless because it's just a tinder box around here. Any little spark is going to set off a fire. But we do have our giant fireworks display over the bay, which uh, my apartment is actually perfectly situated to just view. It's right by the water and I can just look out over the bay and see the fireworks display. So that's kind of fun. But originally, I mean, it was another very, very hot day, but to celebrate the 4th, well, not really to celebrate the 4th, but just for the hell of it, I went with my dad to the rifle range. We did a little shooting, which I guess is a very quintessentially American thing to do. Um, that was fun. My dad did not do well. And I think he was a little annoyed that I did so much better than him, but Got to practice, man. And then I attended, attended a couple different barbecues, one of which featured some delicious locally caught salmon. Mmm, quite, quite good. But I left that barbecue fairly early because I wanted to get home knowing that since my apartment is located to such located so close to good areas to view the fireworks display i knew that soon the parking lot for my apartments and then the surrounding streets would be completely filled with people parking their vehicles they don't seem to care that it's resident only in my building and i came home and of course there were like a ton of canadian vehicles parked in my parking lot and i actually had to like force somebody to leave which I'm not that horrible, but I want to park my car in my parking lot. And if people are going to, you know, park where technically they should be towed away if they park there, if they're not a resident, I think I'm within my rights to tell them to leave. People tend to obey me. If I tell someone to do something, even if they're a complete stranger, even if they're older than me, they often obey me, which is kind of fun. So all in all, a pretty good fourth, fairly relaxing. I didn't get too crazy. And today has been spent mostly just avoiding the sun, cowering from its evil rays, cleaning my apartment, very deep cleaning of my apartment. I'm kind of OCD about cleaning. And then just trying to get some videos done for you guys. Hopefully you appreciate that. Oh, this, you noticed this, did you? Let me get up here so you can actually get a better view. This shirt, as you can see, features this. Something that every pipe smoker should be familiar with. Yes, yes, everyone's favorite check tool. Here we have a wonderful design of a check tool on a shirt. This shirt was sent to me by Brendan from briarking.com. He contacted me, said, hey, I make some shirts that are pipe hobby related. Would you like to have one of them? Check it out. If you like it, you can let people know on your channel. I said, sure. I said, if I didn't like it, I would shred it into fine bits, into a fine ribbon cut and smoke it in one of my pipes. Lucky for Brendan, I did like it. You can see it right here. It's very cool. He has quite a few other designs on his site. As I mentioned, thebriarking.com. I'll put a uh, title right there with the website and I will also put a link in the description below. He also makes decals. He sent me several. I'm not sure if these are going to come out very well because they have a backing on them. Um, he actually made me one for stuff and things right there. Um, not quite the exact same font I use, but it's fine. It's the thought that counts, the briarking.com. And then he also has all these different pipe shapes. Here's a nice big billiard. And here's a smaller billiard. So again, this is the backing that you would take off and it's basically a white decal. Here's one of a check tool. So these are things that you can put on your car window. You could put pretty much anywhere. Um, pretty cool. And as I mentioned, it's at thebriarking.com. Several different t-shirts and accessories for the pipe smoker. Definitely worth checking out. It was very, very nice of Brendan to send me this shirt to try out. I will definitely be wearing this in the future. It's quite nice. 
aside from that, not much more to report. I'm going to have some friends over tonight. Or at least one friend over tonight. We're watching True Detective. So far, I'm not too sure about this season of True Detective. We'll see. It's a little too early to decide whether or not I actually enjoy this season, but compared to the first season, which I liked right off the bat, I have my doubts. Um, so I'll look forward to that. Oh, I forgot to mention, I am smoking three-year matured Virginia in my Peterson Sterling Silver Bent Egg Pipe, shape number 68. This is just left over from the review that I just recorded for Three Year Mature Virginia. As I mentioned, that will be up this week, probably on Wednesday. But for now, I'm going to get out of this freaking hot room, this hot box, this Dutch oven. I'm going to go try, maybe go to the lake for a while. We'll see what happens. But until next time, until we meet again, I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Steppin' Things on a Pleasant Sunday Smoke. Good day. Well, I'm glad to meet you, Farrah. You be careful out here. Don't get smacked by a car or stolen by a homeless man. All right. Look at how dirty my hands are just from petting you. Look what you did. Bye.